Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Well, hello there, my beautiful Pisces. I hope you are doing well today. Thank you for all the beautiful likes, the comments, the shares, the subscriptions, the donations to my channel. It is greatly appreciated and well received, more than you will ever know. So, Pisces, what I need for you to do right now is I need for you to go to the refrigerator and make a salad for me. <laughs> and then you can come back and share that salad with me and then click that like button. You can comment. You can share. You can subscribe. You can just do all those beautiful, lovely, magical things that you do to me so well here at Tally Starrow. So, I'm going to slap down the holy water. And we're going to be rocking around the Christmas tree. Have a happy holiday. I don't know the words of this song, but I'll watch this squirrel play. He's eating a... These squirrels are nuts out here. They've been taunting Louie. They come right up to the door with the nut in the mouth. And then they, like, chirp at Louie. Like, they're walking right up to the door. Like, it ain't nothing. They've been, they're getting squirrely around here. I'm telling you. My friend told me about a, one of his friends that had to have reconstructive surgery because a squirrel got nuts and just jumped on uh, his friend's head. And his friend was coming out the door of his house and, I guess, caught the squirrel off guard. And the squirrel jumped on his face. And I guess the person had to have reconstructive surgery. I was like, geez, that's awful. <coughs> Isn't it? Mm -hmm. Animals, you know, that's why they're called animals. So, oh, yeah, it's time. <laughs> oh, yeah, happy Christmas Eve, by the way. If you celebrate Christmas or just happy holidays, whatever. So, Tara is now in session. The most honorable Judge T.T. T. Dong presiding. You can do whatever you want. So, we're going to jig in on the energy of that person you're dealing with or whatever energy might be approaching you, my beautiful loves. Ooh, that's pretty, by the way. I love that stone. Whatever the case is, we're going to get it, we're going to hit it, and we're going to quit that shit together. I'm going to jingle my bell. Why don't you jingle my bell? Oh, isn't there a song? Like you can ring my bell and you can jingle my bell. Show me the energy of the person I'll be you. Okay. Show me the energy of the person I'll be you. Show me the energy of the person I'll be you. Okay, right on, Donkey Kong. Show me the energy of the person I'll be you. Beautiful. Okay. What we got there? Show me the energy of the person my beautiful. This deck's a little shaky. Show me the energy of the person my beautiful Pisces is. Sure. Okay. All right. Make sure there's no naughty bits on the cards. Can't have naughty bits on the cards now, can we? No, we cannot. Okay. We've got the Seven of Pentacles. We've got the King of Wands. We've got the Temperance. We've got the Ten of Wands. The overall energy here for the reading. Uh, is the Page of Cups. Okay, so somebody here is, uh, I got some uh, feelings here, all right? Slowly but surely, this person developed feelings like a turtle, okay? As slow as a turtle moves, uh, this person slowly started developing some feelings here. We've got the Seven of Pentacles here, okay? Your person's been going round and round and round and round here, Trying to review something here. Drawing circles in the sand. King of Wands down here. This could be your energy or this could be ener their energy. King of Wands. Uh, he often, well, he always knows what he wants. And he gets what he wants. Okay? He doesn't stop. Okay? He's very... he can, He's a very fiery individual here. He's quick to temper as well. Uh, we've got temperance down here on the table. Temperance is all about... Uh, alchemy, you know, blending energies together or blending paint together here, okay? Your person could be an artist, I don't know. But whatever the case is, um, there's a lot of fluidity here, okay? And it's all about uh, opposite energies, okay? Because that's what, usually what you do. Two opposites 
attract, okay? We've got the Ten of Wands here, okay? This is uh, the end in sight to your person who's been carrying the weight of the world on their shoulders. It's been quite a heavy load here. So, let's see uh, what's been bothering this person. So, what has been bothering this person, please? What's been bothering this person? What has been bothering this person? What has been bothering this person? Okay, seems like they keep putting themselves in a situation um, where they feel neglected and they've been worrying about something here. Oh my goodness. Five of Pentacles holds the energy of, I feel abandoned, but basically you kind of do that to yourself. Mm -hmm. So what have they been worried about here under this Five of Pentacles energy, please? What have they been worrying about under this Five of Pentacles energy, please? What have they been worrying about under this Five of Pentacles energy? Oh boy, I've been worried about the Ace of Cups. They've been worried about love, the Ace of Cups, uh, is sharing their emotions. So what this is telling me is this person is holding back their emotions, okay, because they're afraid to tell you how they feel. Oh no, not one of these mother truckers. Oh, hell no. Oh, <laughs> This person, I feel like, doesn't know how to share their emotions. Oh, boy. Why are they so worried about this Ace of Cups? Why are they so worried about this Ace of Cups? Why is this person so worried about this Ace of Cups? Okay. Hold on a second. Okay. Okay. Okay, because something here, they're worried that something here might be completed, all right? And then something is going to happen again. Oh, my God. So what are they worried about is going to be completed but happen again? <clears throat> What's What are they worried that's going to be completed but then going to happen again? What are they worried about that's going to be completed and then going to happen again? What is this person worried about that's going to be completed and happen again? <clears throat> what is going on here? What's going on here with the Ace of Cups, Four of Wands, the Magician here? Okay. It's the High Priestess here. What is your energy here, Pisces? Mm. Is this going to go round and round? It seems like this is a cycle. I feel like your person is getting, is starting to realize that they're caught in a cycle. This has been a cycle. It's been going on and on. It, 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 it's the, the cycle. There's a cycle here that keeps going and it, 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 it doesn't stop. Why does this cycle keep repeating itself and not stopping? Why does this cycle? Oh my goodness. This cycle keeps complete. It's a cycle. There's something here where the moon phases. I'm getting it's the moon phases. There's something here with the moon phases, and it it's the moon of uh, the moon phases are caught are a part of this cycle. I'm literally getting that. The moon phases are a part of this cycle. It really is. The moon has got a. The moon has got a hold as a big part of this cycle. And I don't know what that means. I don't. I'm not going to lie. But it's the moon phases. Are getting, are, it's all about the moon phases. And this is the, the, it's the cycle. The cycle is, it's a part of the moon phases. So it's like, this is naturally supposed to happen. Alright? So it's like out of, it's not in anyone's control here. This is wild energy here, Pisces. I don't think I've ever gotten that. I've never said it's a cycle. It's because the moon phases. The moon phases have are part of this cycle. What is why is the moon so powerful with this cycle? Why is the moon so powerful with the cycle? 
Because they're trying to illuminate this person to something. What are they trying to illuminate this person to? What are they trying to illuminate this person to? That there's huge potential here. There's a full moon coming up too, isn't there? Yeah. The, the moon phases are trying to show this person that there's a huge opportunity here in this connection. All right. What's going on here with Seven of Pentacles? What have they been reviewing here in this energy? What have they been reviewing in the Seven of Pentacles energy, please? Wow. Talk about reviewing. Who does a lot of reviewing? The Hermit. The Hermit separates himself from society here so that he doesn't have any outside interferences to distract him so he can go within and really listen to his intuition here, all right, and see the star. Okay, so they've been they've been in a deep... So what are they in this deep review here with the Seven of Pentacles and the Hermit? What's this all about? What's this all about? What's this all about? So they're starting to feel a lot of grief here. So it's like they're starting to realize here that there's a lot of sorrow, a lot of grief here. Okay, because they failed to do something. What did they fail to do? What did they fail? Yeah. They failed to tell you how they feel. Yep. Wow. This is pretty powerful. Pretty powerful energy. I know you guys, I always say, I, I get to sit here and feel it. I'm literally physically in the 3D with the energy here. It's pretty intense. Okay. <clears throat> so what's temperance down here on the table for? Sure. What's temperance down here on the table? Something's pushing this person. Something's pushing this person here. Okay. To take the leap. Okay. No matter what fears, okay, it's like the it's like the universe is like, we've got your back, you're protected, you're healed. Is this person a medical worker? Do they work in the medical field? But something is telling, despite their fears, that they're protected, and if they take this leap, it's going they're they're going to transform. They're almost going to become healed if they're not a healer already. Okay, what's temperance here with the fool? What's temperance here with the fool? Oh shit, what is it? Yeah, go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Despite what it's coming through. Despite what this person here has been fearing, it's like, it's like, it's time to go. It's time to go here. It's time to take this leap. And it, the universe is here, like pushing this person here. My goodness, Pisces. <laughs> I don't ever know what I'm going to get here. It can get wild. It can get, I just don't know. I just really just read, uh, the energy here and, um, yeah, yeah, but it's like, there, it, it, there's something here saying to, to do it, to take the leap here, and it's, it, but at the same rate, there's something where this person, uh, there's, it's, they're still trying to, the universe is helping them, go do it, take the leap, but there's some kind of sense of avoidance here or laziness, what are they trying to avoid here? What are they trying to avoid here? They're trying to avoid... Ah! A problem with their money. So they they want to take the leap, but they don't want to get into a situation here where it interferes with their finances. Jesus Christ. Hail to the no, Louie. What do you think? What are you doing? Lou, what are you doing? What are you what are you doing, bunny butt? So they want to take the leap, but they want to also 
avoid having uh, some interference with their finances here. So they don't want this connection to affect their finances. So what that's telling me is more than likely this person would not want to get married, literally, I mean really, and if they were to get married, you're definitely going to be signing a prenup, okay? For sure. But they're worried about losing money. So it's obvious to me that this person has lost money in a relationship prior to this. So what is the King of Wands here for? What do you think, Lou? What is the... Okay. They're feeling pretty tired. Why is this King of Wands feeling pretty defeated? Yeah, it's, they're feeling very defeated here when it comes to when it comes to th this connection. They are. I've got the Empress. I've got the Emperor down here on the table. Are you guys already married? Or if you're not, you guys are definitely holding the Emperor and the Empress energy here with the lovers here. This is a, this is almost a sad sad situation kind of for me. So they're feeling they're fearing feeling very defeated here. And it, it's under the king of wands energy here. A little bit stingy here person. And that's perfectly makes sense here if it's the king of wands here. Um yeah, very much not going to want to have any any financial issues here. So why are they feeling defeated with the empress and the lovers card please? Why are they feeling defeated with the lovers and the empress? Why are they defe feeling defeated with the lovers and the empress? Why are they feeling defeated with the lovers and the empress here? Oh boy, Pisces. <laughs> oh, I'm telling you what. Oh my God. I just, I'm, I'm, I don't even know what to say anymore. They feel like uh, they're gonna, they're gonna need. They're feeling like almost like they're gonna need some great courage here, okay? Because there could be there's it's, they need courage because they feel like honestly this is dangerous. What the hell? Why do they feel like this is dangerous? Why do they feel like this is dangerous? Why do they feel like this is dangerous? Because there's something here that's not clear to them yet. Not clear. All right, Pisces. I'm going to grab the final messages. We're going to shake it down with the white sage. Clear it off. See what else this person wants to tell you. And then we're going to shut her down and take her home. Shut her down, Sally. This person's got a lot of passion here for you. Okay. Yeah, I feel like this person has a hard time sharing their emotions. What else? Kitty boom booms over there. Yeah, it's exactly what I said. This person's they're they're really feeling they're fearing this connection here. <laughs> it's, it's wild. <laughs> They've been defeated in love many times, and they're obviously carrying their old trauma towards you and projecting it onto you, which I don't like that. Because I think that's a cop-out game, if you ask me. So Tell us the judge.